Hi there, welcome back to my math channel, Math Lab. In this video, I'm going to explain question number five from Pearson Lexel A level exam for Mechanics 1. This exam was taken in May June session year 2023. Paper reference code is WME01 slash 01. The speed time graph in figure 2 illustrates the motion of a car traveling along a straight horizontal road. At time t equals to 0, the car starts from rest and accelerates uniformly for 30 seconds until it reaches a speed of v meter per second. The car then travels a constant speed of v meter per second until time t equals to t seconds. Show that the distance traveled by the car between t equals to 0 and t equals to t seconds is v into t minus 15 meters. For the first part, you know that in speed time graph, if you want to find the distance traveled, we use the area under the graph. This is a trapezium from uh, this diagram. Okay, it is. It looks like a trapezium. We can consider this length. You know, here this length from here to here, it will be t minus 30. Let's say this is a. We know that area of the trapezium is a plus b divided by 2 multiply height. This is the formula for area of the trapezium. A and B are the parallel sides. Here B equals to T because this length from here to here is T. And this length is, let's say that is A, that equals to T minus 30 because here it is 30. So if you subtract 30 from T, you will get this length. And uh, height, here height is, height equals to V for sure okay height is the perpendicular distance between these two parallel sides a and b are the parallel sides now plug in the values in this formula let me solve it here and distance is equals to the area of trapezium we can use here s equals to area of trapezium what is the area here the sum of parallel sides that they are t minus 30 plus t divide by 2 according to that rule okay multiply height that is v we will solve it and this will give you 2t minus 30 divided by 2 into v. This 2 will divide both values. Okay. This 2 will divide 2t and 30 as well. 2t divided by 2 will be give you answer t and 30 divided by 2 will give you answer 15 v. Okay. And this is as, this is as required. So, first part is done for question number 5. This is the answer for the first part. For the next part, a motorbike also travels along the same road. The motorbike starts from rest at t equals to 10 seconds and accelerates uniformly for 40 seconds. The acceleration of the motorbike is the same as acceleration of the car. The motorbike then travels at constant speed for further 10 seconds before decelerating uniformly until it reaches the speed of v meter per second at time t seconds. On figure 2, sketch a time a speed time graph for motion of the motor, motorbike. Here, let me draw uh, the motion for the motorbike. For this, I have to erase this. Okay, or you can use the other figure. There is a figure given on page number 15. You can use that. Uh, here, it is given in the question that uh, motorbike starts its motion at t equals to 10 seconds. So, 10 seconds will be here. This is 10 seconds. 10, this is 20, and this is 30. Here, 40, 50, 60. Look here. It starts from 10 seconds and... Uh, acceleration is the same like acceleration of the car you know this black uh, graph is for car now i will draw for motorbike it is given in the question that acceleration of the motorbike and car is same in velocity time graph the gradient of velocity time graph will give you the acceleration if the motorbike acceleration is same like acceleration of the car we will draw the gradient of uh, this one similar to the black line this one it should parallel these two lines should be parallel okay and uh, motorbike uh, accelerating for, for 40 seconds further 40 seconds means from 10 to 50 this is 40 this is 50 from 10 to 50 means 40 seconds okay it will maybe somewhere here and above 50 you can draw a point here let's see and then join this point 
from 10 to like that it is 50 these two lines should be parallel okay because acceleration is same the gradient should be same okay now then for further 10 seconds it is given in the question that it will move uh, with the same speed we don't know what is the speed of this one just we'll find it later on and from here to here like for further 10 seconds means 60 like that for like that okay uh, this is 10 seconds from here to here for sure with the same speed and finally it is decelerating uh, for un up to this point t decelerating and reaches to the same speed like uh, car from this point to that point and join this point this one okay it is decelerating for up to t seconds uh, so this this is the graph for the motorbike hopefully you understand uh, how to draw this one and it carries two marks only so this is enough for this uh, for the sketch for the motorbike now in the third part show that the constant speed of the motorbike is 4v over 3 constant speed we need to find this part of the motion okay what is the speed here speed of the motorbike actually it is given in the question that acceleration of the motorbike I'm using AM acceleration of the motorbike is equals to the acceleration of the car okay acceleration of motorbike will be speed over time let's go back what is the time taken here from 10 to you know 10 to 50 it is here okay it reaches to the, this speed we need to find that speed actually okay we need to find this speed of the motorbike the time taken for the motorbike is 40 speed over 4 you no know, rise over run it is the gradient and here acceleration for the car let's go back to the figure again acceleration of the car from uh, from 0 to 30 is v speed is rise is uh, v and run is 30 you know rise over run is the gradient we can use the change in velocity is v and change in time is 30 that will be equals to v over 30 we can write here v over 30 so speed of the motorbike will be equals to 40 over 30 this is the speed of the motorbike you can use it and we'll get the answer as 4 over 3 v so this is the speed of the motorbike it is as required so part c is done Now let us solve the last part of this question at time t equals to t seconds the distance traveled by each vehicle is the same find the value of t at time t equals to t seconds the both distances are equal distance of the car is equal to the distance traveled by the motorbike it is given in the question okay so for this at t equals to t the distance traveled by the car our motorbike is equals to distance traveled by the car it is given in the question okay and distance traveled by the car is already uh, given in the question we already proved it in the first part that is equals to this one now you need to find the distance traveled by the motorbike you can split this diagram into uh, three parts it will be easier for you guys to solve you know we know that this is a triangle and this is a rectangle okay and the last part is the trapezium first of all if you add all these three areas this is a triangle this is a rectangle this is a trapezium actually there are uh, more ways of uh, solving this one you can split into two diagrams or three diagrams i think this will be uh, this will work for you guys it is easier so uh, carry with this one uh, this is a triangle rectangle and trapezium we'll find these areas so area of the triangle you know we can use here area of the triangle what is the formula for area of the triangle that is 1 over 2 times base let's move back uh, for motorbike this is the base from here to here this is the base that is 40 and uh, what is the height here we already found that one that is for this speed is 4 4 v over 3 so this is the height okay so we can use here 1 over 2 times we can use base as 40 and height is 4v over 3 
plus area of rectangle you know length and width uh, this is the length here that is the same 4 v over 3 and width for this rectangle is 10 so 10 times 4 v over 3 10 times 4 v over 3 this is the area of the rectangle now area of the uh, area of the trapezium here if you notice that these two sides are parallel sides okay let me make it more clear this side is parallel to this one so these two sides are parallel okay they are called a and b uh, we can say this is a and this is b b is v and uh, a is 4 v over 3 we can we can use as some of parallel sides 4 v over 3 plus v and what will be the height in this case from here to here this will be the height okay like we are using here this will be the height actually t minus 60 will be the height okay what are two parallel sides here for this trapezium they are 4 v over 3 and v these are two parallel sides this is 4 v over 3 and this is v we will add these two divide by two multiply this height okay so here i am writing the area of the trying uh, area of the trapezium that will be 4 v over 3 plus v divide by 2 better you write as 1 over 2 outside and the height will be t minus 60 use brackets here and distance traveled by the car is v into t minus 15 now solve simplify these brackets we simplify this one we get as 80 v over 3 plus this will be 40 v over 3 and here uh, solve these these two inside the bracket it will give you the answer 7 v over 6 this two will multiply 3 here answer of this part is 7 v over 3 and that will multiply here so you get as 7 v over 6 into t minus 60 equals to v into t minus 15 if you notice that uh, this v is uh, throughout so we can cancel it and uh, if there is a fraction given in the question so multiply to get rid of the denominator multiply by the highest denominator this is the easiest way so here is the highest denominator is 6 so multiply by 6 multiply by 6 so once you multiply this number 80 over 3 by 6 you get the answer because uh, 3 uh, will cancel 6 so 2 to multiply 80 will be 160 plus 3 2 2 multiply 40 will give you 80 and here we already got rid of 6 here so it left with 7 only so it will be t minus 60 and this 6 will multiply this term as well so it will be 6 into t minus 15 so expand the brackets and we will get the answer 160 plus 80 is 240 plus 70 minus 420 equals to 60 minus 90 now bring this 60 left side and move these two values to right side so 70 minus 60 will be equals to minus 90 is already there so this becomes minus 240 and the last one will be plus 420 solve it we get the answer as t equals to if you solve these values we get the answer as 90 so t equals to 90 seconds this is time taken by the motorbike and the car hopefully you understand the last part as well so this is all about question number five if you have any comment or any doubt about this question please write in the comment box thank you